Well, good morning people. How are you all diddling? It's a bright clear one. Although I didn't think it was going to be because from my house, let's say Caton, right up until the roundabout where you turn left to Reeton Sands, it was just thick fog. At the roundabout, it just stopped. It was like I was driving through a, a wall of fog and then the wall just stopped and it was just clear. So I thought it was going to be a, a cold wet damp one down here today but obviously not. Anyway I'm at Reeton Sands so uh, without further ado let's crack on with it eh? Well, I've went down from up top. Knees are tweaking today. But Achilles tendons are yeah, not too bad at the moment. So, why am I here? You ask. Well, I'm trying something new today. Something different, something I've not done before, although it was something I always wanted to do when I was a little kid. When I was, when I was a little kid in middle school, I was absolutely fascinated with fossils and dinosaurs and whatnot. So, today, I'm coming fossil hunting. Yeah, I come down at Reeton Gap. And I'm heading to Seaton. Move a bit closer to the face because there's a bit of a wind. See if it blocks it. Yeah, so I'm Walking along here to to Seaton. Well, to, to <coughs> wet chalk comes through. I mean, I've no idea what I'm looking for. Well, I do have some idea. I did bring a piece of well, I did have a piece of paper with names of the stuff I'm going to look for, but I forgot the piece of bloody paper. Which, to be honest, is just like me. Anyway. What time is it? I sort of recording my walk. 6.19. I think low tide, 7.20. So it's still on its way out. Got loads of time. There is lots and lots of sand. And it's probably the wrong time of year to come and look for fossils. Yeah, you need to wait until after a, a big storm and all sand's washed away because there's tons and tons of sand. But hey, oh, such is life, as I say, as I say, such is life. So I just take a minute and there's Bempton Cliffs over there. Ugh. In the distance, Primrose Valley, in fog. And you can't see any further because of fog. I was going to put wellies on, but we haven't had a great deal of rain lately, so these different layers that are being exposed will all be pretty dry. I want to do a bit of scrambling. Yeah, it's, it's just a case of looking through these boulder fields and then checking all these these cliff sides. Right, there, that's a that's what I call a nodule. 
someone's already cracked it open looking for something I thought there were maybe a ammonite in there that type of thing I'd like to find one here but my eye is not in I don't have the eye for it not for just quickly glancing like a lot of these other people do on YouTube gonna look for some pyrite as well <clears throat> so that's got fossils in it Looks like a devil's toenail there, grist something or other. Some plant material. Yeah, I'm just walking along this pebble beach, but I'm scanning to see if I can see how different or unusual. Now this has probably been picked clean. It bank all the weekend as well in it, so there'll be some stuff that people have missed. But I'm not experienced enough to actually see it. Looking for nice rocks at the moment. Fused with calcite. Yeah, unlike most of the fossil hunters that I've seen uh, on Tinterweb, if I see something that I like, I'll take it. Uh, everybody else, they leave partials and stuff, and the ones with bits missing. Because they want as near as perfect as they can. Maybe in ten years' time, when I'm really good at spotting stuff, and maybe I've got a bit of a collection going, and maybe then, yeah, I'll, you know, want good stuff. But until then, I'll take whatever I can find. This is me showing my complete and total ignorance and my vast lack of knowledge about this place. About any places really. Geology wise. See all this mud. To me that's just mud. You know, it's just mud that slipped down, it's got loads of shells and crapping it that it's picked up and waves and bashed against it you know it's well it's just mud as far as I'm concerned it's sticky stuff that you just keep away from it's stuff that blathers you but it's not just mud apparently by all accounts this stuff here it's 100 million years old and what it is it's made up of four different distinct distinct layers this is from what I've, I've worked out and they all come up like that or like that not sure which and it gets progressively older as you go along to before cliffs And all the little things that you're seeing, you know, little shells and detritus, you know, whatever you want to call it. All that 
Die zal voor soms. Ik zijn mee, dus ja. Dus moet, nee, dat is cliffs. Nou, this is very, very iron rich. Here. No idea what it means for fossils. Whether there will be any. I've probably seen thousands already. And not known. So if there's any fossil hunters living near Scarborough, fancy coming here with me, pointing things out and showing me what's what, I'd be eternally grateful. Oh, that's just so, so fragile. You're probably looking at this camera pointing at all this stuff now and going Fossil! 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 You can see where different layers converge and where they've all been pushed up. Someone's already had a go at this one. Oh, look at crystal formation in there. Down there. It's all growing inside the rock. That's beautiful. Well, it's getting warm. And I found absolutely bugger all. Don't know what that is. Might give it a smash and see if it comes of it. on this is amazing isn't it well slate shale whatever it is there's one way and twists and then another way pretty impressive That's why I need some decent shoes next time. Something with a bit more stability and ankle support. Oh, what's that? Oh, well, that's just. Cracked or see an imprint of something. No, oh, keep that on. Yeah, there's that nodule up there. And how solid is this? Well, it's pretty firm, isn't it? No, I don't think it is a nodule. Uh, somebody's already dug it out.
I'll give that one another crack. Fascinating. Well, I think I'm going to sit here for 10 minutes, have a break. Oh, let's give some of these a bit of a crack then. Safety first. thin sliver I'm not percent sure what that is plant matter a couple of imprints of leaves or something there look at that I can see three different layers four Extremely light. Keep that and have a check of it later. Well, I found bugger all. I know it's only my first time, but I must be the shittiest possible to rock planet. Take a slow walk back. I'm gonna stick to the sand this time. 
Right, I'm going to be silhouetted by the sun. What a glorious morning. That's not a big, massive nodule, is it? Come out of that red clay. Just a rock. It's just a rock, isn't it? It looks module like. I'm going to try and dig it out. Well, it was a nodule, but not what I'm looking for. What I need to do is I need to read up on all different rock types and what type of thing you find in certain rocks. Because I've just been going off YouTube, you know, as one does. And I've watched that, that many videos from around this area. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's that much information that, I, like I said, did write some down on a bit of paper, which I forgot. Yep, so I think proper research is in order. Yes, I'd love to find a, a really nice ammonite. For that I need to go Ravenscar, Whitby. Still get them here, because obviously there's seen a lot of nodules that have been smashed open by people. Way, way more than I thought. You know, it's pretty much a nodule factory going back down down there. I don't even know why these nodules form. I've got some books coming. It's all well and good doing YouTube, watching YouTube videos. Like I says, you know, you watch that many that by the time you've stopped watching, information's gone in and gone back out again and you've no idea what you were supposed to remember. Well, that's how it works for me anyway. Yeah, there's that many rocks, how are you supposed to know which is a nodule? Unless you see keel sticking out of one, and you know there's something in there. Otherwise, they're just all rocks to me. Yeah, I would spend some time just splitting some rocks up to see what's inside them. But it's pointless unless I know what type of rock to split. Right, look at this stone. I'm gonna try and split it. I think that's one of those devil's toenail things. Racing bits now. Yeah, it's not just fossils I'm looking for, I'm looking well. That's predominantly what I'm looking for, what, I, what I'd like to find. Stones and crystals and whatnot. found the sort of glistening it's on there uh, pyrite I've been looking for some of this well now that I've stopped 
it's all over the place. Now I'll use my pen knife. Oh, you can see that one just a little bit better. It's square, square crystals forming. That's a nice big chunk. I'm really, really pleased now. Found one of the things that I wanted to find. On the first size chunk. Oh, this isn't doing my knees any good. Big carrier bag foot. Oh, I'm so pleased I found that. Yeah, there's, there's still loads. Don't know if camera will pick it up, but it's sort of glistening. Oh, I'm well happy now. Oh, it's made my day, is that? No, oh, not in that one. Uh, I found this piece. Now it doesn't look much, and it's probably just a stone. Look at that there. That round there, I ain't got my glasses on so I can't see how that's made up. But it almost looks vertebrae like. What do you think? It's battered and misshapen if it is. Well, these bits almost look bone like. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Now the sun's behind me, I'm noticing things a hell of a lot more, seeing a lot more detail, a lot of differences in patterns and whatnot. Still not found any nodules, any am ammonites, not even any bits of ammonites. It's plastic. I'll have to take a closer look at that. Thought it were a tooth for a moment there. Is it plastic? I don't know where it is. No, oh, I ain't done a lot of filming because. Lots of people about now. So, oh, and I saw a knowledgeable, knowledgeable block, and that chunk that I thought was um, bone, it's not. It's a segment of ammonite. So, because that's my first ever piece of ammonite, I'm keeping it. So, there's a few bits I've found today that. I'll keep forever, even if I get better and better bits, because it's my first time out and they were the first pieces I've ever found. I'm suffering now though. Anyway, I'll probably see you when I'm back at care. Oh, wow. Oh, I needed to have a rest.
come up first part of this climb and I knew there was this area here so I knew I was going to have a rest here let's up that big bugger next Ugh. oh look at the view it's finally finally break What a cracking day. Well, I'm really glad I came here for my first ever session. And not one of the more remoter places. Yeah, because it's bad enough walking on this, which is flat compared to summit places. Apart from this up and down bit. Well, you come down it, then you go back a bit. Um, apart from that, you know, it's all flat but it was really painful walking on all those pebbles and rocks and stuff with these shoes on um, it's not the shit out of my ankles my Achilles are starting to work now that have been out in a while but they've been alright they've been surprisingly unpainful most of the day well most of this morning yeah so well, my fingertips are bruised and swollen picking up rocks and stuff yeah what we're going to say yeah, all in all, a very productive day for my first time. I know the, the areas I need to concentrate on now, so next time I come with some suitable footwear, it should be a lot better. So I'm going to come back a few more times. Probably leave it now until after school holidays. Let's all kids are back at school. Be a lot quieter. And we might have had a storm or something by then. Wash stuff away and brought other things down. Uh, and I got to smash some rocks. I was worried about that. Thought, is my hammer going to break? Uh, how hard are they going to be? How difficult is it going to be to to crack them? I got my lump hammer and chisels. I got two or three chisels. Uh, no, three chisels in my bag. That big one that you saw me, and then two really nice fine ones. Uh, a lot more accurate to chip pieces away. Yeah, so something different from me. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll reiterate what I said earlier. Totally new to this. So if you saw anything on the videos that I just walked right past, let me know so I know. But also, if any of you are local and you're experienced and you don't mind a crippled old guy tagging along and learning from you, drop me a message. My email's on my profile. I can direct message me. Whichever's best. I really would appreciate the advice of a knowledgeable person that I can go out with a couple of times and just find my feet, as it were. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it here. Really do hope you've enjoyed the video. I've enjoyed it. Like I said, something new, something different. And quite exciting when you're cracking rocks open. So you don't know what's going to be in them. Obviously, in today's case, nothing. But that's by the by. I'll say goodbye now, so as always, be safe, be strong, and I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.